Bruce Banner might be a genius with seven PhDs, but he's not very ethical when it comes to scientific experiments. In this video, I'm going to take a closer look at the unethical Hulk. Bruce Banner really doesn't need an introduction when it comes to the films of the MCU. He's been in all of the Avengers films and Thor Ragnarok. And of course, he's also had a cameo role in Iron Man 3. In the MCU, Bruce Banner was trying to recreate the super soldier serum given to Steve Rogers during World War II, and he thought that gamma radiation was the key. Of course, things didn't go as planned for Bruce Banner, and after exposing himself to dangerous amounts of gamma radiation, he permanently changed his DNA so that when he gets really angry, he transforms into a big green muscular monster. The Hulk. Anyway, in Avengers Endgame, the big reveal is that Bruce Banner has figured out how to combine the brawn and brute force of the Hulk with the brains of Bruce Banner himself. To achieve this, he spent 18 months in the Gamma Lab so that he could create what we now know as Professor Hulk or Smart Hulk. In transforming into Professor Hulk, Banner has made two big mistakes in terms of scientific endeavors. First of all, he's exposed himself to gamma radiation. Not a great idea. And secondly, he's got involved in a little bit of self-experimentation, which to be honest, isn't a good idea either. Gamma radiation is a form of electromagnetic radiation, just like radio waves or visible light. Visible light is the light that our eyes can actually see and process. Unlike radio waves and visible light, gamma radiation is a form of ionizing radiation. This means that the radiation has enough energy to remove electrons from atoms and molecules in a process that's known as ionization. This is an incredibly dangerous process because if gamma radiation removes electrons from the atoms and molecules in your body, for example, it can permanently damage your tissue. In reality, Bruce Banner should have perished after his exposure to gamma radiation. The second thing that Bruce Banner did that he shouldn't have done is self-experimentation. Self-experimentation is not considered to be proper scientific practice in modern scientific research. But in the past, some people have carried out experiments on themselves and some of those people have even won Nobel Prizes for their efforts. One famous example is that of Werner Forsman. The German physician won a Nobel Prize in medicine in 1956 for an experiment he carried out on himself in 1929. So what did he do? In the experiment, Forsman gave himself a local anesthetic and then he inserted a catheter into his vein with the aim of getting it to his heart. Now he got it there in the end, but he could have killed himself in the process. Of course, he didn't because he was alive to receive the Nobel Prize in 1956. By the way, a catheter is a small tube that can be inserted into the body to do tests or even to help with certain medical conditions. In general, in science, it's common practice to go get proper permissions from other scientists, universities, from ethics boards, governments or institutes before you do an experiment, particularly when it involves some sort of a drug or a brand new medical treatment or procedure. Nowadays, self-experimentation, it's not really the way to do things. And if you were doing it, you'll probably find yourself in a little bit of trouble. When Bruce Banner tells the Avengers that he was in the Gamma Lab doing self-experiments on himself, they didn't step in and say, hey Bruce, you know, you shouldn't have been doing this. So in a way, Steve Rogers, Natasha Romanoff, and Scott Lang are also wrong too. As Banner goes into more of the details of how he transformed himself into Professor Hulk or Smart Hulk, Scott Lang is sitting there and he doesn't really seem that concerned that Bruce Banner was experimenting with gamma radiation in a lab for 18 months. In reality, Steve Rogers and Natasha Romanoff were sitting there listening to it really should step in because they know Bruce Banner better than Scott Lang. But then again, Rogers and Romanoff were also subject to some unethical, unapproved, 
and rushed medical treatments. So in a way, you know, it's par for the course for them. So what's the conclusion? First of all, Bruce Banner should not be congratulated on self-experimentation. It's an absolute no-no and he should not have done it. Actually, Banner should have been arrested and sent to the Raft prison. But I wonder if the Raft prison would have been able to contain the might of Professor or Smart Hulk. And of course, who actually gave Banner permission to do all of these experiments in the first place? It's truly bonkers. Number two, as mentioned, he should not have been experimenting with gamma radiation and instead of giving Bruce Banner superpowers, it really should have killed him. Thanks for watching and be sure to stay tuned for more videos about scientists and engineers in superhero films. I've been Dr. Barry Fitzgerald, the superhero scientist, and until I see you next time, always think super.